If you are wanting to drive external traffic to your Amazon listings as a way to boost your keyword rankings, increase your daily sales velocity, and overall scale up your business, then keep watching this video. In this video, I'll be covering the best ways for you to send external traffic to your Amazon listings using keyword rich links that will open up the Amazon app for those mobile shoppers. These are called deep links, by the way. And I'll show you a couple of links that will allow you to skip over your Amazon listing page, putting people right in the shopping carts, thus preventing your shoppers from seeing those competing products on your listing, you know, those related products. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Real quick, if you don't know me, my name is Ian Smith with Evolve Media. We're an Amazon marketing agency that helps sellers boost the conversion rate of their listings using photo and video content. We help sellers rank higher, get more reviews, increase their PPC return on ad spend, bring in new customers through off Amazon marketing strategies, and we even help sellers obtain their Amazon customer data like their names, mailing addresses, emails, and phone numbers. So if you are needing help with scaling up your Amazon business, then book a free consulting call with me by going to Evolve Media mediaagency.com. So now let me show you the best linking strategies for driving external traffic to your Amazon listings. All right, so when it comes to driving external traffic to Amazon, you have got to be using this tool. It's called pixelfy.me. You can actually save 10% on your monthly subscription using the promo code SAVE10. That's S-A-V-E-1-0. This is the tool right here. I'm showing you the dashboard here on my screen. And the four link types that we're gonna be looking at today are the Supreme URL 3.0, the canonical URL right here, and then these two add to cart links right here, add to cart URL and an add to cart button. So let's start with the Supreme URL 3.0. Now again, this tool is a must have because what it's going to do is when somebody clicks on this URL, whether it's coming from a Google search ad or from an email or from a blog landing page, anywhere that they click on this URL, one, it's going to be deep linking them into the mobile Amazon app. So if they're on their phone, and they're clicking on a Google search result, it's going to then open the Amazon app, which is going to greatly increase your conversions because they will already be logged in. They're not gonna be on some random browser that they need to try to remember their login and nobody ever remembers their login, right? So deep linking them into the app is like a must have, right? The other thing this is going to do is gonna give you keyword ranking juice. So let me go ahead and click on create and show you how easy it is to set up this URL and how easy it is to then take that a step further and put in a whole whole bunch of different keywords so that you can rotate through like 10, 20 different keyword phrases and get keyword attribution for multiple keywords. Because if you're doing this type of linking, you really don't wanna just be doing one keyword phrase. That's going to raise a little bit of red flags in Amazon's eyes. They may think you're doing something skeptical. They may be a little suspicious. So you wanna diversify and you wanna put these type of sales through different keyword phrases so that different keyword phrases are getting the actual sale attribution. All right, so first thing you're gonna do, just create a friendly name. Just make sure it's friendly, okay? And then select your marketplace, USA, put in your ASIN, and then if you wanna do Amazon attribution, you can put in your Amazon attribution tag right there. So and mass equals, and then just put in the ending of that attribution tag. Me personally, I'm not a huge fan of Amazon attribution. It's not that accurate, and I'm just not a huge fan of it. But if you wanna get some data, then check it out, use it. But just keep in mind, it is not 100%. It's not even close to 100%. I'd say it's like 60% accurate when it actually comes to tracking your conversions. But this is the magic box right here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna type in a couple of keywords relating to this friendly product that I found here. <laughs> a little laser pointer, you can use it for kittens. Looks like kittens love it, dogs love it too. I mean, it's just, it's a very friendly, um, awesome tool. So we're just gonna look at this bestseller right here, 65 ratings, and we're just gonna come up with light indicator pen toy. That's kind of weird that they're targeting that, but hey, we're just gonna roll with that. Light indicator pen toy. So we're gonna copy paste that into our list of keywords. You see how it automatically kind of separates it and makes it its own little thing there. And then we're just gonna put in laser pointer, hit enter to go ahead and submit that. So now I'll just grab this USB rechargeable handheld pointer keyword phrase, just copy that in there. And just one more, five red patterns, suitable indoor interaction with cats and dogs. I think this listing needs a little bit of optimization work with the uh, keywords. So let's just do it for, uh, We'll just say laser pointer for pets. 
Enter that. Now we've got four different keyword phrases, and let me just grab that ASIN. I always just do a quick find. Oh, there it is right there, actually. I always do like Control F to just find ASIN, but it's right there. So you plop that in there, and that's pretty much it. That's all you really need to put in there. And then you want to make sure that this deep links slider is checked because obviously you want it to be a deep link. If you are driving traffic from Google search, I would recommend leaving hide refer unchecked like that. If you're driving traffic from Facebook or some other place that may not benefit you in the Amazon search results, then you can by all means hide refer and click that button. But um, you should not check this if you are doing Amazon affiliate tracking or if you're wanting to do Amazon attribution, then just leave that unchecked. In most cases, you're gonna leave hide refer unchecked. You can leave enable GDPR unchecked as well. Tracking codes, you can actually put in like Facebook and Google tracking codes in there. Now keep in mind, it's not conversion tracking codes, it's just tracking codes as far as like allowing you to retarget based on like clicks or engagement. So I may want to test around with adding in some tracking codes, but that's pretty much it. All right, so I'm just gonna name this laser pointer test. We'll just call it that, oops, can't spell. All right, we'll scroll down to generate four tracking links. It's gonna generate four different links for me. Now this is the really cool part. Do you want to rotate these links? And you always want to click on yes. Add four links to Rotator, because this is the time when it's gonna be the easiest for you to actually grab all these links, and four isn't that much, but when you got like 10 and 15, that's time intensive. So if I just click one button, now it's gonna put this into a URL Rotator link, which is a different type of tracking link. So uh, what this is going to do is allow me to sequentially rotate when somebody clicks on it, they'll go to link number one. If they click on it again, they'll go to link number two. We can set it up to be random and we can just have them randomly go through. We can put weighted so we can have it go to like 50% to one. And then what is that? The 10%, 10%, you know, whatever the breakdown is of the remaining uh, weights, but you can set it so that one keyword phrase is getting more traffic than the others. But for now, I would just recommend either keeping it on sequential or random. So we'll just put it to sequential and then I'm gonna name this. So I'll just name it laser pointer rotator. And then anytime somebody clicks on this, again, it is just gonna rotate through those four different links that I have in there. Pretty awesome and easy to just one click. Before they had this feature of like these um, auto rotator links, you had to go one by one and create each supreme URL. Then you had to go back and put them into a rotator link and it was like, took you like 30 minutes to an hour to create. Now it literally takes me like two minutes. So good on you Pixelfy. Again, if you wanna save 10% with Pixelfy, go to pixelfy.me and use the promo code S-A-V-E save 10. Just save 10, save 10% on this really awesome tool. They're improving it over the times and they're getting better and better. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on generate tracking link and we will have our rotator link all set up to be copied. And I'll just show you real quick how that's gonna look when I actually click on that link. All right, so I clicked on the link and as you can see here, it shows the keyword phrase light indicator pen toy as the first one. And it is only showing this listing in the search results. So. I'll go ahead and click on that. Now that is gonna tell Amazon that I searched light indicator pen toy, clicked on that and when I buy it, light indicator pen toy is gonna get the keyword boost and the keyword rankings and the attribution and all that. Now the second link that I wanna tell you about is canonical URLs. Canonical, it's such a fun word to say, right? So 25% of Amazon search traffic comes from search engines. Okay, so what this link is going to do is going to help you rank higher in Google. It's going to tell Amazon and Google, I don't really know the magic behind it, but basically if you want to rank higher with your listing in the Google search results, then you want to be driving traffic through this canonical URL. The setup is very similar to how the Supreme 3.0 is, but I'm just saying if you're trying to rank higher in the Google Google search results use canonical. So again, this would be like email marketing, blogs, even Google search ads if you want, but ideally you would think if it's a Google search ad, it's coming from Google, so you would help the ranking. But if you wanna just be extra safe, do a Google search ad with a canonical URL. It's gonna be a long-term like SEO type of investment. Now these next two links are gonna involve landing pages. Landing pages and driving traffic to landing pages is a great way to get extra value on your ad spend. So imagine with a landing page, right? You don't have the whole related product section. You don't have the 
concern or worry of losing your customers to your competitors when you're paying to get that customer to that page. Also with landing pages is you can do extracurricular stuff that is not allowed on Amazon. Like you can have social proof images of people holding up your product. You can have social proof videos, testimonial type videos. You can put stuff on this listing that Amazon doesn't necessarily allow you to do. Also you can do an email capture. So if you wanna do like a pop-up box and say, hey, save 25% by giving us your email address. You can do stuff like that on landing pages. You can set yourself up for retargeting. So you can put Google pixels, Facebook pixels, TikTok pixels, all different types of different tracking codes on these landing pages to then build those custom audiences in those ad platforms to allow you to then retarget these people. After they visit your landing page, you can then follow them around the internet on all the different platforms that they use. A couple more ideas I forgot to mention with the email capture is that you can have people like enter to win a giveaway of some kind, you know, give us your email and we'll enter you to win a massive $500 grand prize or something. Or you can do some kind of like free digital download. So there's a lot of different ways that you can use bait to get people to give you their email address. So just get creative, but ultimately you always just see people using promo codes. And when it comes to landing pages, there are a couple different options that I wanted to tell you about. The first one and the most expensive one is ClickFunnels. ClickFunnels is great. I use it for my own business a lot. I love building landing pages in there. They integrate with a lot of different email platforms. Overall, it's very easy to build pages in ClickFunnels, but they're the most expensive at around $100 a month being their cheapest plan. So you get what you pay for. They are pretty great, but you're going to pay more. Now the second cost, lowest cost option is lead pages. Their cheapest option is $50 a month. Again, pretty great builder, pretty easy to build pages in there. Pretty affordable, integrates well with a lot of other tools and you know email platforms and stuff like that. So lead pages is probably what I would recommend the most, but if you don't want to pay $50 a month, then you can go with a Wix site. And the, you probably already know about Wix, right? But you can build a very basic landing page showing pictures of your product, sales copy, all this information, email pop-ups, retargeting pixels, all that kind of stuff. Wix is gonna cost you around $20 a month in one of their lower tier plans. And then even below that is a very cheap platform called Card, that's C-A-R-R-D. That's $20 per year. And that is a very basic, very limited landing page builder. But again, personally, I would just recommend lead pages. 50 bucks a month is pretty cheap. You can put in a custom domain. You can still get all the benefits of ClickFunnels, but maybe not all the benefits of ClickFunnels, but you're still getting a lot of benefits of ClickFunnels and it's gonna be at like half the price. Now the last little tip that I'll tell you about these landing pages before I actually tell you how this plays into the whole add to cart with Pixelfy Me is that you want to make it very clear on these landing pages that they are going to be buying on Amazon. Everywhere that you have on the page, just say buy it on Amazon now, all the call to action buttons or buy on Amazon, you know, have like 3,500 reviews on Amazon. Like make it very clear that this is an Amazon purchase. I don't know if you wanna go as far as putting the Amazon logo on your page, maybe put it small, but maybe at the bottom put a disclaimer that you're not affiliated with Amazon. Just make it very clear that they can buy on Amazon because you want them to know from the very beginning that if they are a Prime member, they can easily use their Prime membership and you're just going to use this page to go ahead and tell them all about your really awesome product, right? So make it very clear that they can buy on Amazon and that leads us to the next point as far as the add to cart button on Amazon. So like I mentioned before, you can use either the add to cart URL or you can use the add to cart button right here. So I'm trying to highlight it. So the difference between these is that this is going to generate a JavaScript button that you can embed on your landing page and basically you know, have it as like a nice little button and the URL. The URL is just the URL alone, meaning that you can literally put it in an email. You can put it on a hyperlink, you know, sentence over on a blog website or something like that. So I personally just tend to go with the URL option. And then when I'm building out the landing page, I'm just gonna use the button that the landing page would typically have. And then I'll just use this link as a URL. But let me show you how to build this add to cart URL and then what it's gonna actually look like for the actual shopper. All right, so we're gonna click on add to cart, create URL right there. We're gonna just make up a, a basic little friendly name, ASIN, quantity is just gonna be one, right? We just want to add one to the cart and that's pretty much gonna be it. All right, so I filled out the information that's most important. We got laser pointer, the ASIN, quantity. Again, you don't need to put in the attribution slug if you don't want to. I always recommend having the deep links selected right there. And then we're just gonna scroll all the way down, click on the generate tracking link. Here is our fancy little link right here. Now I'm gonna copy it and show you where this goes. 
All right, so when you click on that add to cart URL, this is the page that you were gonna see. It's gonna say add to shopping cart. It's gonna show the product, the price, and all they gotta do is click on add to cart right there. Boom, they're done. They have a successfully bypassed your listing page because chances are you're gonna have a lot of related products on your listing page. Maybe your listing page doesn't look as sexy and as pretty as your landing page does that they just got from. You don't want them to get distracted. This is gonna shorten the process, shorten their customer journey from just going from your landing page. Boom, they add to cart and they buy it. This is a very quick and easy way to get them from your landing page and your landing page button should say like add to cart on Amazon. Make it very clear that they're going to be going straight to the cart on Amazon and this is going to cut out a lot of the potential distractions that your listing will offer. Now a couple of the side benefits that this add to cart URL or button is going to give you is that with enough purchases, this increases your probability of earning the Amazon Choice Badge, often leading to increased organic sales, so that's really cool. Also, this button is gonna be making Amazon think that the purchase originated from Amazon Alexa. So, may or may not happen, who knows, but ultimately you're making the sales process and customer journey a lot easier and quicker for the shopper, which is gonna increase your conversion rate. All right, so now that you know how to actually create a link that is gonna give you keyword attribution or it's gonna make the buying process a lot easier or it's gonna give you Google rankings, let me quickly tell you about a couple different traffic sources that you need to consider. Traffic source number one, email marketing your past Amazon customers. So we actually have the ability to link up with your Amazon account and export out the names and mailing addresses of your past customers, then using that information, we get their emails and phone numbers. So then you can email them and say, hey, Joey, really appreciate you being our customer on Amazon. We'd love to give you a free product or 25% off your next order, or I recommend giving them some kind of little deal or incentive to go ahead and buy from that email. So you wanna create a good relationship with them off Amazon, get them happy to see your next emails that they get. So ultimately, getting email marketing going and emailing your past customers is a good move. Again, if you want to learn more about getting your past Amazon customer data, reach out to me by going to evolvemediaagency.com. Book a call with me, we can talk about getting things going there. We're able to export the last three months of customer data right now, so if you're wanting the last three months of your Amazon customer data so you can reach them with, for marketing or just getting email appends in general, then again, go to evolvemediaagency.com to book a call with me. Now, the other traffic sources that I would recommend is Google search ads definitely gonna be great because they're actively typing in keywords relating to your product, so their chances of buying is very high because they're literally searching for what it is that you offer. You can either link them to your landing page or you can link them straight to your Amazon listing using one of these fancy links that I just told you about in this video. Next, I also recommend that you check out TikTok ads. TikTok is an up and coming platform. Facebook and Instagram are going away and slowly dying out and not performing as well, so I highly recommend you look into TikTok ads. If you need help with getting TikTok videos, video ads created or getting Google ads created or having this stuff managed, me and my team would love to help you out. Again, evolvemediaagency.com. And also the last traffic source I'm gonna tell you about is an organic traffic source posting organic content, non-ad, non-paid for uh, boosted content, just on TikTok or on the YouTube platform. Create organic content over time that's gonna be searched up and it will eventually result in free traffic for you and really help you scale up your business. It is a long-term game, it's a long-term play. It does take a good amount of money to build up and create this content over time, but once you do have some good quality blog style video content out there on either TikTok or YouTube, it's gonna gonna really help you with selling your product, driving free traffic, low cost traffic to your Amazon listing pages and overall scale up your business. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching it and I'll catch you in the next one.